And ladies and gentlemen, game number one of Naval Command versus Black Templar. Let's take a look at what the teams have brought. And so for the side of Naval Command, we've got Gearing, Gearing, Daring, Des Moines, Des Moines, Des Moines, and you guessed it, Des Moines, Ohio, and St. Vincent. With the Cl Brisbane band, not surprising. For the side of BT, we've got Daring, Harugamo, Marceau, Gearing, Des Moines, Des Moines, Des Moines, the Schlieffen I was talking about pregame, and Kremlin. And so now, as the teams start to move, we're going to keep an eye out and see how they decide they want to position themselves. Control over B in this game is such a critical thing as compared to the normal setup. Because of the fact that B has all those islands surrounding it, it's a simultaneously, if you take it, it's devilishly hard to lose. But trying to finish taking it with the radars can be tricky and for the side of black templar the fact that there are four des moines on the enemy team ready to radar you feels kind of scary hmm. apologies about that So, looks like we're going to see a fair split here from the side of Black Templar. Des Moines, Des Moines, or Daring Des Moines, Kremlin heading kind of towards B. Three ships to A, three ships to C. Looks like we're seeing a heavier split here. Four and four with the Ohio holding mid and the Daring pushing B for the side of Naval Command. Have to keep an eye out and see where they're going to take these ships. Health, 21,000 in favor of Naval Command to start. I mean, obviously that is not guaranteed to stay that way, but we're going to keep an eye on that and see what happens from there. Now, as we look in on this, I'm watching Molecular Man here. Molecular Man versus Markeev with the, and uh, Magnemite is going to be critical. Like, how this plays out is going to be massive for the game. It looks like, right now, initial thought is I really like... I really like Black Templar's position here. Molecular Man, assuming he cuts in here, which we'll see if he does, is going to have radar coverage of the entire cap. In addition to having radar coverage of the entire cap, you're going to have a Daring with Hydro and a Schlieffen with Secondaries ready to challenge B. And that Schlieffen is Secondary spec Like, you look at that Schlieffen, that thing is a full Secondary spec Daring dumping the Torps off. And I do like this from Markive. Markive going with the i'm gonna edge in just on the edge which is gonna keep him protected from the schlieffen for the moment he's only gonna have to worry about the des moines and daring tracker is gonna have shots on the schlieffen here in a second and watch these torps as well uh if these have range this could be really brutal for the schlieffen considering he just got spotted and he's probably gonna be liable to turn out yeah the schlieffen should take torps here uh, looks like he's gonna take two, maybe three. Let's watch. One, two. And to instantly lose 30,000 health, forced to DCP and heal because of Torps dropped literally minutes ago, feels terrible. Des Moines and Daring of Naval Command taking some damage, but that Schlieffen, like I said, Schlieffen, heal is maxed at 46, 8. You have a max of 46,000 health. 45-2 now. And it's less than four minutes into the game. That Schlieffen has just been taken down to literally less than two-thirds health. It's a big win. It's a big win. For the side of Naval Command. And if the Des Moines gets another fire here and suddenly Schlieffen's down to three DCPs with less than, um, Schlieffen, you're going to beat yourself, aren't you? Yeah, you're going to beat yourself, Schlieffen. And the problem is, yeah, you've got angle on the Des Moines, but the Des Moines has got angle on you. Des Moines has got angle on you. 
Your secondaries don't have the range, and you're taking a lot of damage here. Hasn't chosen to DCP yet. He gets dark. There's the DCP popped. Looks like the DCP will prevent at least that salvo. If this salvo, though, two, one. If he takes a fire on the nose here, he's going to be so upset. He doesn't. But still, 35,000 health on the Schlieffen. This is definitely the biggest early news. Besides, obviously, the cap being taken for Black Templar. So Black Templar is ticking points for the moment. But yeah, that Schlieffen now under half health. Oh my goodness, that's just been brutal. And he's still getting really good blind fire on him. That should end right there with the turn. Uh, Des Moines... Des Moines dodges the Torps just barely. And the Marceau gets the gearing. And so suddenly, Black Templar turns it on his head. The Torps come through, get the gearing, and now Black Templar takes that lead. And it's a 200 point almost lead. Some damage over here. I mean, you can see the Des Moines down to 31,000. You can see the Daring at 20,000. But that health lead still sitting at 20k. Ooh, and the Harugamo takes a Torp. Forced to DCP, loses 12,000 health. Torps are making a big difference this game on the Schlieffen, on the Gearing, and on that Harugamo. So 1-1 one to one on Caps. Schlieffen spotted again. I don't think... Nope, Des Moines does have the range. That's actually not as far. And the Schlieffen coming back in. Glutton for punishment, Schlieffen. He has the heals, remember. It's the question of what is the heal going to max him at? With him at 28,000 right now. He's gone dark again briefly. He does get hit on... He does get set on fire. There's the DCP. Down to two left now. Sigismund playing with... Danger. Kremlin also getting some focus. Taking over 30,000 health in damage. He does pop the DCP, so he'll be okay for the moment. And Tracker really just having the time of his life here. Like, I know I've been talking about this so much, but this is such a major advantage. Especially if that Schlieffen stays spot and Admiral Don stays right there. Because watch what's about to happen. This is about to be quite possibly a dead Schlieffen. This is very possibly about to be a dead Schlieffen. Heal's gone. Here comes the AP shots in. Oh, and he's lucky. But the Des Moines comes around the corner, and they want the Schlieffen dead. They know he's got the DCP, but he beaches again for the second time. And ladies and gentlemen, that Schlieffen is dead. It's just a question of what kills him. He doesn't have the heal for 50 seconds. He uses the DCP. Sigismund's going to be second blood. And that's going to be a big grab for the side of Naval Command. Though, Black Templar is going to respond with the B cap. That'll buy them some time. Des Moines of R2 dude taken down to 600 health. He goes down as well. They do get him down. And that's actually a really good trade back. You lose the Schlieffen, but you do take out one of the Des Moines. Now, you got a Gearing and a Des Moines down here in smoke. Des Moines of Balzac about to radar. And now, he's got a really good angle for at least one salvo, assuming he's got AP loaded. Did not choose to take the shots. No damage there, but two caps to one and a 200-point lead for the side of black templar and suddenly they've also taken the points lead or the health lead the health lead that they were down twenty they they're now up thirty thousand. that's a swing but if this arugamo goes down right here he does ladies and gentlemen and that's massive will he get the trade back he gets a torp onto the saint vincent but it won't be enough and now the des moines is looking at each other dinny working on ikik ikik down to twenty thousand health saint vincent does have the heal he's chosen not to pop it quite yet He gets dark. I'm really surprised he hasn't popped this heal yet. I'm really surprised he hasn't popped this heal yet. Unless there's a bug with the UI, which I really don't think. Why has he not popped this heal yet? Why is he? Why did you wait so long to pop that heal? Tracker does go down as the Kremlin uh, charges him. But now St. Vincent looking at IKIK. And now this game is devolving fast. There's like the positions are all getting split. It's two halves of the map. The Des Moines of IKIK is dead. The only question 
is how long does it take to kill him. He gets the heal off. He's down to a thousand. He will get... It really depends. Here comes the Torp. The Torp will miss. And St. Vincent forced to turn. He's gonna take Torps here. This is gonna be another big trade. Will he get the... He doesn't even get the shot off. And Black Templar gets away by the skin of their teeth. And they're now up by two ships. And really in a prime position to finish out this game. Some mis missteps here by Naval Command of the Sea really leading to some openings for Black Templar to do their job and win the game. Keep an eye on these torps, though. These torps just gonna miss. I'm gonna say if those torps hit, that could have turned it back around, but no. You can see the Des Moines of Dinny trying to get onto Ick, but he doesn't have the range. He doesn't have the positioning, and he's just getting farmed out. Black Templar, ring around the rosy. Everything is at stake. Dinny is the gone. Victory draws near. Just like Dinny is straight up gone. Not even getting great damage onto the Marceau in trade. And yeah, now it's a three ship lead and 500 plus points. Black Templar, two minutes away from victory. And I don't, I don't see the way back into this at this point for Naval Command. They're going to put the Des Moines of Balzac into B, but you got a Kremlin that's going to be right there positioned to smash him. And you're running low on time. We're going to keep a part, half an eye up here on this Des Moines daring. Des Moines gearing, gearing, Ohio push. Actually, now that the uh, Des Moines has spotted the gearing, we're going to keep more than half an eye because we're going to see how many shots he tries to get on the gearing. Doesn't look like he's going for them. So B now being contested. That's brought the timer back up to three. But like I said, I mean, B is not going to be able to be capped. And so all this is, even if they do cap B, it's still every second you wait and you're not getting kills is a second closer to loss. The Ohio here also getting farmed. He does have the 30 second DCP going, which is just brutal. We'll watch out for more Torps at some point. They've just been launched, so it'll be a little bit still. Des Moines gets spotted and reset, so that'll buy more time for... Black Templar. But, oh, the Daring and Torps and Guns get Black Templar. That buys them a bit more time for the side of Naval Command. Naval Command now. Taking B. They want this win. And they get the Des Moines of NCOTS. And BT does finish the game claim, as we said, ladies and gentlemen. BT will win this game. And they're up 1-0, and man, NCOTS, just little mistakes did them in.